The Christmas compilation CD-ROM is, as the name implies, <laughs> a compilation of various elements. So if we just click on, remember it runs on your PC and Apple Mac, we've got our main menu page here. And it really is a compilation from different CDs that we've had in the past and just bringing really the best of it together with a few little extras. So let's have a look at the backing papers. And I've just made several choices. We've got over 120 backing papers here. So I'm pretty sure you're going to find something uh, for your Christmas cards within it. Again, we can just click on and we've got a, just a lovely range of papers here. And these, as ever, will come in full colour and the tint as well. So it's a lovely little resource, this, to use for your Christmas cards. And again, I'll just show you here the same thing, referring back to it as a tint. Now, if we click back as well, what we've also got here are Christmas uh, box papers for the popping boxes. And you can see here we have them in both the full colour and again in the tint as well. So you can simply click onto it and then you've got the colour tab there ready to work with if you want to with your popping box and using your dies there. So these are additional element which are new to the CD-ROM. Now if I just come back to the backing papers, three sets, set two, again uh, different papers, a little bit more stylized in some instances like this through to our lovely sort of gold metallic -y wrapping paper and again just good old-fashioned Christmas fair I think you find as I said lots of lovely lovely papers to work with in all of your card making projects so you can see in this particular set it breaks down to additional papers here um, let's just say click onto one like so okay and on the uh, set three We've got, again, just different backing papers. These work with like a, more of a snow and uh, poinsettia. That's a lovely one which we've used within the show. And last but not least, we've got a backing papers number four here. Again, all those have full colour and tint as well. And we can see sort of different styles of paper here. Sort of a frosty, more wintry look to what we've got here. So there really is a lovely collection. So those are the backing papers. Now we've got two Christmas stretch cards which you can make as complete sets. And they're here. We've got a tutorial video which will need a, vin a internet connection to watch. You just click on it, it will take you to a, a page to watch that. And you make this lovely card as we can see here. So all the elements are there to print out, click on. Little caution side just warns you that when you're cutting on the other side, there's an image different one but an image sticking up so you've got to to be a little bit cautious and check again refer back to the tutorial video there and different elements here so it comes pre-printed for you different elements to work with and you also get the basic blanks here so you can create your own cards as well the second one is a lovely penguin card here and again that works in in the same way now the christmas pop-ups uh, again, lovely little items. Let's just click onto one here. You can see uh, what they look like. Uh, video tutorial. This is embedded into the CD-ROM and you will need to have uh, QuickTime installed in order to watch that. And if you click onto the template here, you actually get this one. It, it comes in full color here for you. And just to come back, that shows you where the lines are that... Uh, you fold and cut. So that's really as a reference guide. And again, you can just watch the video, but you actually print those ones out, or when they're printed out rather, the template, it comes in full color for you. Just a nice little sort of extra surprise to pop into the Christmas cards. Now we've got uh, Christmas tree cards, what I refer to as the winter festival. And these are lovely. So loads of different images. Um, again, we've got them here, so you can just fold it in half to create a card, cut it out. And I've also put on what we call the stacker pile. That was popular a few years ago. Do you know what? I still rather like it. Just one mil foam pads, you can make quite a lovely looking card. So that comes in both the A5 and the A6 uh, there as well. 
So this, as I said, is again, it's just a sort of a, a wintry feel. Christmas is sort of invoking, but any winter festival it might be that you have a birthday or even a wedding which seemed quite popular as well so the theme here is very much one of snow tranquility uh, within the images here that's just a, well, I've got a nice bridge here for you to see as well um christmas festive folds an a5 and a6 just different ways of creating uh, a different card and again, we can see the patterns are here for you. Simple cuts, valley and mountain folds. Again, instructions on here. These again, if we just click onto that, got part one and part two. They're all within the CD for you. Last but not least, something which is quite good fun, and I quite like these. Um, we've got Christmas frames. And they simply create a frame in which you can cut out and pop a photo in. So it doubles up as a Christmas card as well. Simple idea, it does work very well and they're rather nice. So if you uh, don't often get in touch with the family, it's quite nice I found that we, uh, when we were living in Spain, we could just put uh, photos of the family in and just sort of remind you everyone what we look like. Uh, but again, it's up to you to use it however you wish, but they are rather fun and you get, uh, we've got a range of them here that you can work with. So uh, a little bit more um, formal if you want uh, to something here like with the snowflakes as well so nice variety for you to choose from quite good fun I suggest you perhaps have a little play with them and see what you think okay and just as some bonuses here these were cards and rather light and we've just got two additional uh, Christmas cards um, which you can use here and again these are good old-fashioned uh, decoupage does look very nice when it's made up so they're just included on there just two little favorites that are uh, brought back through past collections for you and there we go altogether it makes up a really nice sort of compendium with this compilation of papers from various cds one or two new things in there Christmas backing papers are absolutely fantastic. There's so much in there for you to work with. I love the Christmas trees. So winter festivals as well. Anything that might be happening there, quite appropriate for that. We've got two fantastic stretch cards. Um, we've got papers within the uh, the backing Christmas backing papers to make our popping up boxes up if you want to as well. So they're in there. Christmas pop-up inserts, rather lovely. Add a little bit of twist to your Christmas. Uh, Christmas festive folds, just a different way of using the papers and images and our Christmas frames. So it's a wonderful CD that all comes together for your Christmas crafting. <laughs>